Hello everybody and welcome to the next Spikes video and today boys we are hopping back on my rank servers because I gotta grind to the top three right I'm still ranked fifth right now in the world about 100 MMR away from P3 and obviously if you're in the top three you guys get prizes sponsored by me um, I announced those a few weeks back when the season started at the beginning of October. But anyways, guys, that's not the point of this video. Today, boys, we're going to be on the Suzuki 450. Now, I've obviously tested this in my initial video and um, the video I made after that. But today, boys, I'm going to be putting this thing to the test here in motocross. I don't know how I'm going to do today. Setup is going to be showing up at the end of the video, though, because I know a lot of people want to see the setup. But hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Let's get right into race number one, boys. The gate is about to drop. And let me tell you something right now. My luck on this first corner... <sighs> pretty terrible it's pretty horrendous so i am a bit worried and scared for what is about to occur here can we get the jump can we get the start i am bogging horrendously and what do you know guys taken out once again i mean what do you even do at this point just getting absolutely sandwiched by two kawasaki's oh my god now it's just dodge the falling people i don't know if there's anyone fast in here there, there probably is which I guess I'd have to pray they're not in front right now, but... Um, luckily, we made it through that carnage. I am pretty fast on this track, I think, so... I think we're gonna be alright here. I think we're gonna be just fine. Oh my god, this guy's bike bodies are frozen in the air. What is happening? Why are people's bodies frozen in the air? That's weird. Is this, like, a new bug or something? Like, I mean, I feel like I've seen that before, but... I've never seen three in one corner. That's crazy. Oh, dude. How am I this unlucky? What just happened to me? That guy just fell and his bike like teleported in front of me. Bro. I don't even understand that. Anyways. I don't know why I act surprised by these things. This is just normal MX bikes. You know, it's happened every day last two years. And I still get like surprised by it, you know? Uh, I'm not really able to show off my speed until I get away from these freak shows. This guy just cut the entire jump, so he's banned if he keeps doing it. I'm going to give him another chance. He's clearly not the, the smartest human being, so maybe I shouldn't give him another chance, but... Anyways, I think we're in fifth. Uh, the leader is gapping. These three guys are all together. This could be a tough race. This guy in front is fast. I'm just 100% not sure on his speed. I don't really recognize the name, so I'm not I'm not too worried. Oh wow, these guys are going down, making mistakes. Watch out! How, watch how I get upside down here. Watch this. Okay, that was a little too much. Of course, the bike's gonna spin me backwards, dude. Oh my goodness! Just add two more seconds to my crash. Why don't you? All right, now I'm actually gonna start trying because I am currently getting gapped. And uh, I don't like to get gapped. It is not a fun experience. Auto sit is turned off. And uh, I think it's honestly done wonders for me in outdoors. I think sitting down is honestly a pretty massive nerf in any type of roughness. It wasn't really like that on the previous bikes. It was actually like you could basically sit down anywhere, to be honest, on the previous bikes because you were never losing traction. And um, so it's been nice standing more. I've been feeling a lot more confident without auto sit. Because I don't have to go as fast. That's the main reason. You know, before when I turn auto sit off, it's like I had this pressure of still just railing every corner, you know, and I just wasn't really good at that. So now that I can take it a little bit slower, I can still rail corners, but taking it a little bit slower has made it a little bit easier to make that transition. But anyways, see if I can get around these two guys right now. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Where do I get this guy at? Oh my goodness, Troy. I'm just following this guy. I'm doing exactly what he's doing, and it's not helping my case. Alright, I'm in a very bad position here. I have to pass these two guys very fast. Or this guy in front is just going to keep gapping. And he's going to get confidence. Okay, yeah, just cross in front of me, man. Very intelligent. Let me just cross in front of you real quick. Hey! <laughs> oh my... <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if he's very happy about that. That 250 is bark. I'm telling you guys right now, that Honda 250 is fast, man. It is very, very quick. And those 250s have so much grip that they actually keep up with the 450s. Because us 450 guys, we are struggling to find traction. I mean, obviously we still have a ton of it, but um, you know, we got so much power. If we're not, if we're not having good throttle control, it's very easy to to spin up. I'm kind of struggling right now, surprisingly. I don't know if I should say surprisingly, but 
I feel like I... I've ridden this track on these new bikes. I feel like I was riding pretty decent a few days ago, but today, not really. But we got a, we got a few more laps, so... You guys need to lock in. I just need to get out front. I'll get more confident. I've also been on the 250, though, so I'm not, like, super used to the 450 right now. But we, we definitely got to win this. If I don't win this race, I'm going to lose a lot of MMR because I don't know where this guy's ranked, but I have never seen his name before. So that means he is definitely outside the top 10. Wow, he's on rails, and I think he's on the 250. What it sounds like, he's on the KX250. Very good bike, people have been saying. And uh, I, I did a little testing with it in motocross, and I, or supercross, I mean, I thought it was all right. I still think the Honda's a bit better. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, but they were very close regardless. I still think the Honda's way better. But um, yeah, I haven't tested the, the two of these really too much outdoors other than my initial video. So I need to do that a little bit more. But I was playing Supercross the other day and there were guys on the Kawasaki 250 while I was on the Suzuki 450 and they were actually keeping up with me. And in one moto, I actually lost to someone on a Kawasaki 250. That never happened before this update. I n would never lose to a 250, ever. It just, there's no chance. No one's beating me on a 250. I lose to 250s now, which means clearly the 250s, not only do they have a lot more traction, but they're getting power to the ground better. And that was one of the things in the patch notes. So, I mean, this guy is just wide open right now. You guys can hear the sound mod. He is wide stinking open. Oh my goodness. We're definitely faster, though. I still haven't really attempted to go fast yet. We'll get there, though. Oh, this guy's got P. Diddy in his name. That's insanity, but... This is what it is. Personal preference, I guess. I'll try to go inside here. See if it's viable. Yeah, outside's definitely better. This dude's really fast, man. He's either really fast or the Cowie 2 videos is this good. I really don't know. I think we should be able to get him on this last lap, but he could definitely beat us here. I was messing around too long in the back. I seem to find a spot to pass him and not go down. So I'm definitely faster than he is. That's why I'm just right behind him. We got him right there, and I think he just went down. Oh my goodness, we might have just gotten this for free, boys. Yeah, he did go down. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I don't think that was my fault. Maybe it was. Tried to hold the outside there. Who knows? Can I make this jump? Ugh, it's a freaking stretch now. Nope. Also running a 120 rear tire. Maybe I should run the 110. Not 100% sure. I know the 110 felt pretty even to the 120 on the 450s. I know the 100 on the 250s is actually really, really good, and I heard some pros saying that the 110 is better for racing, but the 120 is better for hot laps, so I don't really know what that means. I don't really hot lap at all, so it should probably be on the 110, so we'll probably switch to that for the next race, but pretty clean race. These last few laps had a little bit of a battle going there, but uh, this is actually a really good track to, to learn how to ride these bikes on. I recommend it. Baja Brawl 2024 by her and IMAX is completely free on MXB Mods and MXB Shop. Very good track. It's technical. Thing is with these ruts is they're very smoothed out, which makes it so where the back end can definitely slide over them. But, you know, while that could be frustrating at first, it's going to help you learn throttle control a lot. So as you guys could see this race, I was really trying to be light on the throttle and just kind of work my way around the track. But yeah, 138.7. Not a terrible lap time, to be honest. That's not too far off what I was running on the previous bikes. I think I ran like a 34. 35 was probably my fastest time on the previous bike. So just a couple seconds off, but let's get right to the next race, boys. All right, boys, race number two. We are at 2016 LACR here, created by the boy Slabs. I've actually been pretty fast on this track the few times that I've raced it. Um, I actually ran one really fast lap. I ran like a 130.5 or something. I was literally on rails. Kind of brought me back to the early Papiti days where I was just grinding like the same four tracks, and I got so good at them, I could literally just hold R2 down the entire time. Um, but to do it on these bikes is a whole nother ball game, so I was kind of surprised I could do it, but... Let's see if we can do it here. I did equip the 110 tire. That could be bad. I'm not 100% sure. Um, man, oh, man. Oh, wow. 
I have never seen someone do that on a start. I'm gonna be honest. Shot. That was insane. It's like he saw me and he's just like, I'm killing you. Oh, I just killed another guy too. First place. Oh, he's a kick streamer, bro. Oh my god. Why does that make so much sense that a kick streamer is just taking people out? Alright, how should we take him out? The problem is, like, if I clean him, I feel like he's one of those dudes who'd get so angry about it that he'd cut the entire track to clean me. So I'm not going to touch him because I do want to actually have a race here, but... Sometimes that happens. Like, someone will clean me out and then I'll just absolutely punt him to the moon because I just have a little bit more skill at taking people out than they do. And then their entire race is just about killing me. Which is kind of messed up, alright? Like, I just, I just made it even, bro. Like, why are you mad? All right, maybe you shouldn't take me out then, buddy. Anyways, we're not doing that today. We're actually just going to go around an entire corner. Am I going to be in first place after this? Oh. There's a man on a cowie behind me. You know how them cowies be. They'd be a bit fast these days, boys. They'd be a bit fast, brother. Hope this is a close race. I don't really know. I don't really know if I recognize any of these names, but... We're just going to come out here and absolutely send it. I'd like to beat my previous lap record. I'm not exactly sure if I can do it, though. I don't know if I got the spunk in me tonight, but once this E-Road kicks in, it's going to make these corners a bit more viable to just absolutely rail. But right now, i got to work this track in a little bit. Get used to it. You get a lot of speed through those rollers if you wheelie through them, but it does take a lot of skill. Also, the whoops after the finish line, you can wheelie through the entire set. I want to try to do that this next lap. Let me get this down. Okay, that was actually really good. Sometimes that landing is kind of sketchy and you lose some time, but... Pretty good there. E-Road's starting to come in, which is nice. This corner's pretty important. I need to take a little bit of a wider apex for that, probably. Scrub this. Alright, here we go. Hot lap time. We're hot lapping. The Jan doesn't hot lap often. We're hot lapping, boys. We're hunting the heater. I was going to wheelie him, but could not get the front end up. I need to be in third gear. Grab this. And a second. Okay, we're moving. Okay, we're kind of moving right now. Go this. Just plug the back brake, the entry. Oh, we have to make that inside and make it. My bad. We kind of still railed the outside, though. Holy crap. Wait a second, boys. Wait a second. I kind of OJ that a bit. That was kind of bad, actually. I'm going to scrub that more. Scrub the table. Sit down. Oh my god. Get on the back tire. Why don't you, brother? Cut through this. We got on the back wheel here. Don't die into this corner. Boys, we're absolutely railing this raceway right now. We already have a 15 second gap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't die. That was bad. I have to land more outside because I keep getting weird Pobosa bounce. Okay, that was good. Wider apex. Alright, that was pretty good actually. I think this lap was decent. I'd say like a 32. 31 too. Damn. Okay. We might be able to break our 30.5. In this video, we might actually be able to do it. I'm just about gain 0.7. Okay, I keep forgetting to wheelie these. I'm so stupid. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I kind of messed that up, bro. I was in too high of a gear. I didn't trust that. I should just trust it in third. The second. I'm just gonna roll this this time. That's oh, way better. All right, inside here. Sit down. Ah, uh, that E-Road's weird there. People are popping out of that rut. It doesn't follow the whole thing. Grab this. It's actually kind of fast. Wait a second. I'm going to stand up. I'm just going to stand up. I'm right, going to stay inside here. Come on, baby. Go. 
Oh my god, that was almost horrible. Come on, baby. This is a good lap. I don't know if it's faster than the last one, though. We need to land this correctly. Oh, I messed it up again. Damn it, dude. Fine. Boys, I'm on absolute rails right now. What are you talking about? These bikes don't have traction. What are you talking about? Hey, what are you talking about? 129.7. That's world record right there, boys. That's world record on these servers, at least. One more, Johnny. I want more. Wheelie. William. Oh, that was half of them. That was his last lap. Damn it, I want to William in this video. This is corners of my kryptonite. We got her done. Alright, sit down. Scrubby dubby. Wide open. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, boys. I, you know what? I don't even care. I'm so happy with that time. 29.7. Guys, we... We're on absolute rails. We could actually do better than that. I bet I could break the 29 barrier sometime in the future. I don't know why this track is so fun to me. Like, it really does bring you back to the PD because there's not a lot of roughness, and it's just wide open. Like, absolute rails. But these bikes, they still make it to where a couple of these sections are pretty technical. Like, I think this section here is fairly technical, and this corner up here. Like, sometimes you gotta get kind of lucky to not go over the bars, but... Yeah, I'm just feeling it on this raceway right now. I can't believe I just ran that time, but uh, who knows? Maybe in a couple weeks, I'll be like, that time was slow as hell, but I felt I felt like a pretty damn good lap, so I'm happy with it. I'm uh, happy with this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think uh, I think the Suzuki's decent. I still don't think it's the best 450, though, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know what to think, at least for motocross. Supercross, I feel like it feels pretty good. Motocross, I'm still kind of on the fringe with it. But uh, anyways, guys, hit us up with that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys. All right, all right, all right. I almost forgot to show the setup, but listen, we remembered, all right? That's all that matters, okay? So everything in the black is what the setup is. Everything that's red is what was default. As you can see, I'm giving you guys the 110 rear setup here. Um, but this is all the important stuff, obviously. Suspension, drive train, and we got the other stuff. Yoshi mapping is really important. This stuff here is also pretty important as well, the Geo. But anyways, it is something like most of you guys do.